We have a go for main engine start. Six, five, we have main engine start. Three, two, one, zero. We have solid rocket booster ignition and liftoff of Challenger and the 10th Space Shuttle flight. On February 3, 1984, Dr. Ronald E. McNair stepped on the Space Shuttle Challenger for mission STS-41B and simultaneously stepped into the history books of North Carolina A&T State University. In NASA's 10th Space Shuttle mission, Dr. McNair was one of five astronauts making his first journey into outer space. McNair was a hero. His beginnings uh, as a schoolboy in Lake City, South Carolina involved, among other things, uh, the picking of cotton. But then as he grew and his interest in education became more and more intense, and ultimately in 1971, as I recall, he graduated with a baccalaureate degree in laser physics. Can you imagine that? From one of the most renowned historically black universities in the country, A&T. Ron was really what we, one would call a renaissance person. He was, uh, had so many talents and so many fields. He was, of course, an excellent physicist. He was an accomplished fifth or sixth degree black belt karate. He was the first astronaut in history to play the saxophone in deep space. As a mission specialist, he launched two uh, communication satellites. He made it his responsibility to encourage and assist the students in the coveted a and Student Space Shuttle Program. In 78, when he came to the campus, he entreated them to get serious about exploring space in concert with their academic pursuits. There was actually some discussions that went on between the university and him about how we could get involved. And so a year later, we actually signed a contract with NASA to fly this mini laboratory on board the Space Shuttle. And that is when the Student Space Shuttle Program started. For him, the students were the future. And he wanted to ensure the fact that that future was secure. In 1986, Dr. McNair's life was tragically cut short when he and six crew members died aboard Space Shuttle Challenger when it exploded over the Atlantic Ocean shortly after liftoff. His spirit and passion for science, technology, engineering, and math continued to live through the students in the ANT Student Space Shuttle Program. It's a very sad day, of course, and uh, there were many, many tears shed. As the students, we resolved to carry on Ron's dream, and the students became even more committed. The legacy that this man and his colleagues left can never be erased, and the extraordinary interface between Dr. McNair and North Carolina A&T State University was, I think, unmatchable. Eight years after his tragic death, A&T students continued Dr. McNair's legacy when a 100-pound mini laboratory they designed, built, and tested became a part of Mission STS-68 aboard Space Shuttle Endeavour on September 30th, 1994. It took 15 years to complete, and so the students has to pass the baton from one to another. Right? And the students were assisted uh, by faculty advisors as needed, and of course Ron was always the inspiration behind that. And uh, we take great pride in that this project was really an interdisciplinary project. And they represented five different schools from the university here. Since its inception in 1979, the A&T Student Space Shuttle Program has had the support of numerous dedicated sponsors and faculty advisors. None have been more inspirational than mission specialist Dr. Ronald E. McNair. If there had been no astronaut Dr. McNair, there would have been no A&T Student Space Shuttle Program, and there would have been no student-built mini laboratory on board the Endeavour in September of 1994. We miss him, but at the same time, we appreciate the fact that his legacy as a, an American, as a black astronaut, as an A&T State University grad, will never be lost. It'll always be a part of not just this university or this city or this era, but this world. Even after the accident, uh, he was continuous inspiration. In fact, when our mini laboratory was launched in 1994, an 8x10 photo of Ron accompanied that payload at Mini Laboratory. 
and in that way, Ron got a second flight. Ron never forgot a and and A&T will never forget Ron. His dedication to his alma mater and his personal pursuit of scientific excellence has been a catalyst to launch the success of generations of the world's best and brightest leaders and professionals in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math. It was that encouragement that inspired who knows how many students, thousands. In fact, he encouraged me. <laughs> he was my hero. His legacy lives on through the STEM programs and outreach offered at a and today. Operating outside your comfort zone can be challenging, uncomfortable, and frightening. Dr. Ronnie McNair faced those trials head on and created a legacy of excellence in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that will live forever in the hearts, minds, and the health halls of North Carolina a and State University. North Carolina a and is home to a diverse group of STEM disciplines with faculty and students who are dedicated to doing research to further advance space exploration. Our students and faculty researchers are creating new and improved technology in areas such as control and avionic systems, sensors and small satellite systems. We're also home to the NASA Center of Aviation Safety. It is working to develop materials, tools, models, and technologies that support the safe operation of aerospace vehicles through a better understanding of the science and engineering involved. a and students and faculty researchers continue to build upon his legacy, pursuing excellence in STEM careers here on Earth and beyond.